What's poppin' everybody? This is Sabre Wolf Hunter 4 with a supporter comparison. Haven't done one of these in a while. I'm gonna be comparing Cynthia and N today. I'm actually surprised I haven't made this supporter comparison video with these two cards ages ago. Pretty much the strongest all general purpose shuffle and draw supporters, Cynthia and N. The real meat of the debate comes with N, but before we get there, we gotta understand why Cynthia is such a good card in the first place. So Cynthia's effect is very simple. You shuffle your hand into your deck and then you draw six cards. This is the best shuffle and draw uh, number of cards you can get uh, without any special conditions, without any other requirements to meet. Like Professor Birch, you can draw seven cards, but that's on a coin flip. Otherwise you just draw four. Hala requires you to uh, use your GX attack to draw seven. And then Chorus, of course, has its own conditions, etc. So Cynthia, if you run a deck that has a lot of other adding, searching power, you know, you play a bunch of cards from your hand, you know, using a Cynthia, shuffling the rest of the cards into your hand and then drawing six, will give you reliable consistency, six new cards to work with. If you played a bunch of cards, you're going to draw quite a few. Like if you only had two cards in hand, it's like you draw four, thin in your deck. And it's quite reliable. It's basically Professor Oak's new theory effect when Shauna was released and it was just draw five instead of six, people were pissed, disappointed that it wasn't that Professor Oak's new theory. And then when it was finally revealed, Cynthia in Ultra Prism, that it was going to have the Professor Oak's new theory effect, everybody was happy. So it's very good. You don't discard anything. Uh, you don't have to waste any resources like Juniper or Sycamore. It's just an all-purpose, very good supporter card. N's effect, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated. Both players will shuffle their hand into their deck and draw a card for each of the remaining prize cards. So the reason why these cards are so comparable is because at the start of the game, before you have taken any prizes, N will also net you six cards. You're going to shuffle your hand and draw six cards. The difference, though, is, of course, N has a bunch of other implications, which is what makes the card very good at times, and sometimes, you know, it backfires to have him in hand. Of course, the biggest thing is that you can mess up your opponent's hand. So if they have taken a lot of prizes, if they only have like one or two prizes remaining, and you use an N, especially when you combine it with some ability locking, like a Garbodor, a Lolan Muck, or just something to prevent them from using ability draw Pokemon, for example, then it can be pretty devastating. It can basically save your ass at the right time, when your opponent has gathered, let's say, a Guzmo or a Lysander, and you know that if you don't you know, mess up that play for the next turn, you're going to lose, for example, and it can save your ass. On the flip side, though, if you play a deck where you get prizes early, like let's say you get a prize early and you're at five prizes, then if you keep using N, you're shuffling and drawing five. Now, that's not too bad, but you're definitely drawing less than Cynthia. And if your opponent, let's say, doesn't have many cards in hand, they've got maximum prizes, and then you use a card like N, you're essentially letting them draw free cards. So there's all these negative connotations too, you could say. Uh, there's other things you can do with N that would, you can make yourself not deck out, like let's say shuffle in a huge hand, only draw a few cards when you have one or two prize cards left. You can do these sorts of combos. A bunch of different, th different things. So the question is, which is the best one? Now, like I've said, uh, both of them have their implications. Cynthia with its simplicity and, and all of the stuff that I mentioned that you can do. But in general, because of the simplicity, if I had to choose, I would say Cynthia because it's just a very simple effect. You always draw six. It has nothing to do with your opponent. You are the only one that gets to shuffle and draw. So you don't have to worry about giving them cards or doing some other unnecessary things, helping them out, all that stuff. And it's just you always draw six, even if you get that late game, like if you have taken a lot of prizes, you need a supporter, and you get Cynthia, you, you draw a bunch of cards, that's great. And a lot of the times, if it's your only supporter in hand and you want to draw a card, like you need to draw in order to come back in the game or do something, and it's the only dude you have when you have taken prizes, he's not going to help you. Now, of course, like I've said, it depends on the deck. For example, there are some decks where I actually favor N completely, like my Gengar and Mimikyu GX deck that I use all the time in Expanded. It works out better to run a full playset of N and no Cynthia's so that you do give your opponent a few extra cards before they've taken prizes and you manage to boost your Poltergeist damage. 
get a bunch of items and trainers stuck there and do very high damage. For the most part though, since both of these cards, you know, N is only in Expander right now, the best thing you can do, at least in my opinion, is favor more Cynthia's than N because we have VS Seeker. So when you do want to use that N when your opponent has like one or two prize cards remaining and you want to disrupt them, you want to mess up their hand, do something like that, you always have the VS Seeker and you can just get that N, reuse it like that. But with Cynthia, it's just a general all-purpose, always shuffle and draw six. So I think she's more useful per factor. Very simplistic, and most of the time, these simple effects are the best. You don't have to worry too much when you use her. It's just shuffle and draw six, no drawbacks, no other side effects. Pretty simple. Now, I debated bringing Tate and Liza into the mix here and compare, it, compare this card with these guys too. I guess we're going to kind of do it here. The thing is with Tate and Liza, it's just, it's probably the best sort of shuffle and draw, you know, after these two guys. It's only going to give you five, but you always have that sort of switching effect. So it's essentially the one extra card you were going to draw with Cynthia just goes away for the opportunity to use this as a switch too. And this can be very handy. Now, because you're not always going to do this, and most of the best decks have options to have board control, free retreat, all that good stuff. You know, it's not super great, so I decided, hey, I'm not going to really compare it too hard with N and Cynthia. It's not really on their level. Now, of course, you got to remember, depending on your deck, there are other cards that are probably more suitable. Like if you use a deck where you almost nine times out of ten, you build it to use a certain GX attack turn one. Like maybe you run Circuitry GX, maybe you run uh, Drampa GX, perhaps to Tornador, you get the idea then maybe if it's just such a high chance you're going to use your GX attack super early, then perhaps Hala is the best bet, which is essentially going to be Shuffle and Draw 7, just even better than Cynthia. Alright guys, this is the comparison. It's really simple, both of the cards are very good, you know, in Expanded. It's basically the trilogy of N, Cynthia, and Junibor or Sycamore as the three main supporters, and then things like Chorus and other good stuff are added in as extras, perhaps. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this comparison. Hope you guys subscribe to my channel and share this video with your friends if they want to learn some interesting things. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching as always. Say Rule Finder 4. We'll say yeah.